Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're checking out Smart Mouth's The Princess Oktoberfest. Princess, what do we know about this beer? It's an Oktoberfest. This is true. It says, traditionally brewed for the annual celebration of the marriage of Princess Therese to Bavarian Prince Ludwig, our version of October, actually we talked about this last year and I'll link uh, the video about the history of Prince Ludwig up there. Our version of Oktoberfest beer is named for Princess Elizabeth, the namesake of the river that courses through our region. That must be the River Elizabeth? Elizabethan River? I guess. I am not aware of this river. Not I will Virginia. Admit, I, yeah, <laughs> I'll admit I don't know what they're talking about. Um, the namesake of the river, blah, blah, blah. This copper lager exudes notes of caramel toffee sweetness in perfect union with malty toastiness. Mm. This can art is pretty cool. It's got this, uh, you know, I guess their rendition of what they think a uh, princess would look like. An Oktoberfest princess. Very cool. Minimalist can art. Keeping it crafty, it says on the can. I like that. Yeah. Follow the, at the top it says, follow the le leader hosen. <laughs> Virginia born and raised. Hell yeah, man. Let's get a nice frothy pour going on these. Beer in the glass, as craft beer would say. Shout out to his channel, I'll link him below. He's got some good material. He's from the UK and he sometimes gets American beers and he just seems to love most of them. Like, I like his style. I like you, man. You're cool. Right on the nose, we're getting... Tons of malt. Oh, toasty malt. That's like Cheerios almost, it's yeah. bready. <laughs> Wondering how sweet this is actually going to be, but... I don't think it's going to be that sweet. You're getting this deep copper color. Like some amber. Yeah, it's beautiful. These, this, the color of these beers is probably one of my favorite things about them, actually. I like this kind of like burnt orange thing that they have going on on the can because it kind of matches the amber and it just it feels very festive and pumpkin-y. Cool. Yeah. It, it feels like fall. So five and a half percent, um, unknown IBU, sorry, 28 IBU. Brewed in Virginia, where we is at. Cheers. Okay, cheers. So it's got a really biscuity sort of maltiness to it. I'm getting a lot of sweetness. As oh, well. There is a lot of sweetness. There's more bitterness to this one. Maybe it's just this one's definitely like clawing. A little harsher. It's kind of coating my tongue. Yeah, not a bad thing though. It kind of balances out the sweetness. So you get a nice combination. A little sweet, a little bitter. There's a really dense palate with this beer that I really like. Like there's yeah. all those, you know, upfront bready biscuity notes, yes, but there's also this like complexity with the hops kind of backing it up and just ever so slightly supporting it, but it's, when you start, you know, the more you drink it, the more those fla flavors mm -hmm. layer on top of each other, and you start getting sort of a more complex thing out of it. It's not like a, a, an upfront, oh, that's the way it tastes. You kind of got to keep going with it. I like on the can also how they have this like, like how to brew beer kind of thing, where it's <laughs> like, uh, you know, a mash ton, and then they have an arrow and it goes up to the, you know, the fermenter. And then from the fermenter, it goes to the, you know, cooling tank here, the secondary. And then it goes all the way to the kegs and then to the beer glass. And then it has a pretzel next to the beer glass and it's like, <laughs> prost. <laughs> that's cute. And I like that. So yeah, tons of multi flavor. Just that's the predominant player in these beers, as we've said before. Um, you're going to get a lot of biscuity, roastiness, um, almost like a caramel nuttiness to it. This is a good, it's a well-brewed beer. Is it the best Oktoberfest we've ever had? Pretty good. It's definitely up there. It's like what I expect in an Oktoberfest. Yeah, when you drink it out of a stein like this or a bigger mouth glass, when you are drinking it and you inhale at the same time, you get this like kind of wave of malty, you mm -hmm. know, maltiness and then like aroma that comes in. And that doesn't, I've never noticed that happen with any other beer, even IPAs. Like, try it, try an IPA in a, in a giant glass and just kind of inhale it like a snuffleupagus and you'll see what I'm talking about. 
All right, guys, well, thanks so much for tuning in. If you're interested in more craft beer reviews or craft beer event coverage, be sure to click that subscribe button and hit that little bell icon. Until next time, stay crafty. Cheers. I feel like a real man when I drink beer out of this giant stein. Yeah. Like, it's definitely like a serious event. You know you're, you're getting work done when you fill up one of these with beer. Thank you, Smart Mouth, for these amazing clothes as well, for supporting my cold weather habits, keeping me warm at night in the cold winter months through this excellent looking hoodie with your namesake on it. I know you're not paying me to say this, but you could. In fact, you could pay us to review every one of your beers and we would do it. I know breweries do weird things with can art. I wonder if this is actually somebody that works at the brewery. Let me know in the comments below if you know the answer to that question or if it's just some, you know, random can art. He looks like an Irish princess. Like but she got frozen. red hair. From Frozen. <laughs> <laughs> Irish. Wait, is it first frozen? Yeah, I think it's based on something Irish. I've is never, it? Yeah. I've never seen it. I've never seen it either. I just hear it in the grocery store and I want to kill Terrible. myself. Okay. All right. I cannot see that. <laughs> that <laughs> light is, is like, that's really bright. I like how she's even toasting. She's like, yeah. yeah. I like her though. She looks fun. I think like an Oktoberfest is a good gateway. Somebody recently suggested the Kolsch would be good, but I thought, nah, no, that's, that's like a German versus an American style. That's not gonna, they're gonna be like, what are these flavors? This is too crazy. Yeah.